you know, being out on this ocean reminds me of when we were filming uh, uh, U571. You familiar with that picture? Submarine picture. I spent a lot of time in the water for that. You know, I also made a movie called Fool's Gold, me and uh, Kate Hudson. We had a contest to see who could get more tan. I won, of course, but still it was a great contest. You know, the last time I was on water in a ship scenario, I was making a little picture by a man named Steven Spielberg, up-and-coming director. You might have heard of him. It's a film called Amistad, a historical picture. Flexed my acting chops, as it were. Not quite the way I did in We Are Marshall. Did you see that face I made? It was like... Rrr, rrr. But I was making face like a real guy. There was a guy... <laughs> he really looked like that, so I thought I'd impersonate him in the face. And I'm just such a good actor. Oh, that's what you need to do, friend, to keep yourself alive. You, you can take me to my body. I'll be Christ-like on you. You can taste of my body and drink my blood. You know, the best thing about having one leg is probably all the cinematic opportunities for me. I'm more of a character actor. Everybody always heralds me as a beautiful man. They say, oh, Matt, your body. Oh, Matt, your glorious face, your physique, your flowing hair, your gigantic penis, your fantastic ass, you know. I want people to look at me more as a character. Sort of like Jared Leto doing that Mark David Chapman role he put on all that weight for. That was impressive. Pretty boy. Oh, that is probably a near-fatal wound. That's the kind of thing the person will bleed out from. You know, in the obit, it would probably say, handsome movie star hunk Matthew McConaughey died of a fatal stab wound that barely was able to pierce his metal-like abdominal muscles. The nice thing is, I imagine at my funeral, they will talk about me. In reverence, my memorial service, they would go over all my great work, starting at Days and Confused and running right up to Sahara. All the wonderful things I've done in my life. Be a good time. I wish I could be there, because that's the story I'd like to hear, the story of Matthew McConaughey.